When they say by Lobari, you say David Sinico. A phrase I heard a lot when growing up. Who are these two Sierra Leoneans? And why do we compare them? I feel it's a very misleading statement because we should not be comparing these two successful Sierra Leoneans. Instead, we should be learning from them. Alhaji Bailobari, despite not going to school, was a very successful entrepreneur. In the 1970s, when the European and Lebanese were dominating the import market of vehicles, cars, and vans, Alhaji Bailobari was the first Sierra Leonean to enter that market and dominate it. In post-colonial Sierra Leone, he was the first successful black diamond dealer. He started his business in Koindu, Kono district. And later on, he ended up owning businesses and properties in Guinea, Sierra Leone, Liberia, and globally. He was a man who used his resources to reach the top. With entrepreneurship being a huge topic of discussion today, we can all agree that Bailobari was ahead of his time, being 30 to 40 years early. On the other hand, is the smart and amazing academic, Dr. David C. Nico. He was one of the few Sierra Leoneans who got a degree in the sciences, the arts, and commercial discipline and was able to contribute to science, literature, and math, not only in Sierra Leone, but globally. He got a scholarship to study at Cambridge University, and he was the first African to graduate with a first-class honors. <laughs> he was the first person to analyze the breakdown of insulin in the human body which was a huge discovery for the treatment of diabetes. I am Hadja Aisha Tuba, a fuller feminist. And from my experience, I'm going to talk to us all today how we can use the spirit of Bail Lobari and David Sinniko to build our legacies. I was born to a Bail Lobari family. My mom and aunt, like many fuller women, about five decades ago, did not have the opportunity of going to school. By then, fuller women were supposed to stay home, take care of the children, cook, and get married when it was time. However, I saw these two women thrive. With their bilobary spirit, they established businesses. I saw my aunt open a cinema. She sold yogurt. She sold car parts. She sold so many things but none of her businesses were sustainable. And my theory is, the Bailobari spirit was there, but the educational side of it, the financial literacy, the David C. Nichols side, was absent. So when I grew up, they gave me all the resources I needed to go to school and become a David C. Nichols. Because Bailobari didn't work for them, so they didn't want another case of a failed Bailobari. But I said to myself, no. I grew up in a household where the spirit existed. So I am going to become a Bailobari and a David C. Nichols. <laughs> yes, and I did become one. So even though when I was going to school, I was mostly interested in academics, I went out of my path educate myself on topics that I wasn't aware of. I did extracurricular activities. Even though I was in the science stream, I was always debating and giving public speeches. And yes, in 2015, just before I graduated high school, I got a scholarship to study outside of Sierra Leone. An amazing opportunity for me to merge my Bailobari spirit and David C. Nichols' passion for education. So I used the resources around me 
to make the most of it. Because my priorities were to get educated, empower my community, and become financially sustainable. I wanted to live the dreams of the women in my family who couldn't go to school. So when I graduated college, not only did I graduate with a Bachelor's of Arts in Environmental Studies, I graduated with a full-time job and a well-established business, Uman for Uman. Because when I was in college, being a David Sinico, a topic caught my attention. It was period poverty. I wanted to get a degree in environmental studies, but yes, I also wanted to impact my community. So as a David Sinico, I did the research to come up with a sustainable prototype, reusable pads that could tackle the issue of period poverty, the expensive period products out there, and build a healthy product. And yes, this is where my Bailobari spirit came in. I tapped into my Fuller network. I did the research. I came up with the solution. And I learned how to market like Bailobari did. So today, I'm standing here with a business. When we started, we used to sell an average of three pads a week, nine pads a month. I said to myself, I need that by Lobari spirit. I want to go global. And as of today, we are averaging about 375 pads a month. And we've sold over 4,500 pads. I am standing here today. I'm still continuing my journey. But I have built a legacy, a legacy that is sustainable, a legacy that helps me merge my passion for education and entrepreneurship, a legacy that I will pass on to my future generation. So here is one thing I'm going to tell everybody here today. The spirit of Bailobari exists amongst us. And we need to tap into that spirit. Just like in our classrooms and academics, we're pushing for development and sustainability and research, we need to push for entrepreneurship. Because I personally believe that the change makers of tomorrow are going to be entrepreneurs with educational backgrounds. And I'm going to say to everyone here today, build your legacy. And do not be afraid to take risks. Started with three pads a week, nine pads a month. Now here we are. We've sold over 4,500. Make that first step and dare to be different. Look at your life experiences, the experiences you've lived, and map out what's your purpose. Are you a Bailobari? Are you a David Sinico? Or how can you match both of this? Because I say to myself, What's the point of education if you cannot use it to empower yourself or the people around you? Why should I become a Bailobari or a David Sinico when I have the resources to become both? So as I'm leaving the stage here today, I'm going to leave you with the words of Dr. David Sinico. For whomsoever you may be, this is where you come from. Go for bush, inside the bush. You'll find your hidden heart. You'll mute. You'll find your mute ancestral spirit. I have found my ancestral spirit, the spirit of Bailobari. So I went dancing on my way. Thank you. Thank you.